Hi, I'm Jason Hobbs. In this video, I'm going to walk you through my strategic planning, my procedure that I use. And this time, this unresearched example, the second one, is for a local veterinary clinic, which I've been a customer of for years. Now, the goal is to, they're currently what we call digital sharecropping. And what I mean by that is they're largely running their web presence through their Facebook brand page, which is a great thing to have, but it's not your home because in that instance, they could shut down access to their you know people like that. And there would be nothing, no recourse in a lot of instances, or they're going to have to jump through a bunch of hoops. And it's just someone else is in control of the communication between Irwin Animal Clinic and their customers, right? And that means that it's what we call digital sharecropping. So and so we want to cease that immediately. And all we do is build on their own website, right? And then we start growing the brand's digital experience from there, which plays out the hub of which is the website. So the customer point of view is people with animals, living within 30 miles of the brick and mortar clinic which is in osceola georgia um i am located in fitzgerald georgia it's about six or so miles from me i go there you know regularly so the customer in the, here i've gone ahead and just defined a couple of examples within facebook audiences and you can there's a lot of different ways to create your audiences and the message that you give them within Facebook. We started with pet people, and that just means dogs and cats. And then dog folks, you know, it just, it winnows it down. It took the cats out, basically. So, and you could create a third one where you had cat folks within 30 miles of Osceola as well, right? And what you would do is you're going to put an image in front of each of them. So if you're doing a you know, talking to a dog person or a cat person, then, you know, you'd show a dog or a cat and you, know, you would talk about their dog or their cat, ideally, right? So here's how we set up the pet people. And it's real simple. You know, all we did was define a location, add a mile radius, and then pick a couple of interests. And so, you know, interest of pets and then hobbies and activities, you know, a cat or and then dog. Uh, or cats and dogs, right? And obviously this is the one on the right, the pet people, you know, so it includes both. So what's the pressing problem? Quality, convenient animal care. Digitally efficient brick and mortar experience is the solution that I would offer. And what I mean by that is baking in the digital with through the cell phone specifically, right? We all have smartphones at this point, or the vast majority of us have smartphones at this point. And we use it as what? Remote control as far as for our lives. So letting people use that to simplify the experience when they're inside the actual you know, clinic or when they're buying stuff from the clinic or whatever, you know, just letting them use this and you don't have to create an app or anything like that. Like they could in the future, but they don't need it. All they need is a website that's, you know, mobile responsive, basically. Now, the access would be, end of the day, it's at the brick and mortar, right? It's the clinic. But we would combine that with the web store, which is the website. So erwinanimalclinic.com or whatever they decided to do. Now, what's the value to the end customer, the people like myself that are a customer of Irwin Animal Clinic? Well, it's happy, healthy animals first, but selfishly, it's a minimum number of wasted minutes of my time. I'm the one that's having to pay in you know, saving my time without putting any unnecessary burden on the staff, that's the goal, or allowing the staff to save my time profitably, right? The, now, when it comes down to education, this is kind of the promotion. And what I what I mean by that is when I say educational, I'm always looking to craft the voice here. And so the goal is of the, the communication that we're, we're going to do is painting the picture for those animal owners of how much the clinic staff adores animals. Just helping, that's they're going to naturally relate to that. If you love it, either your dogs or your cat or whatever, then you're going to be, you know, gravitate towards someone that loves them as well, right? And so that's, oops, let's see if I can get it done in under 10 minutes. 
All right, so the foundation for all of the marketing activity that we would do would be the web store. We do stuff on Facebook and do paid ads on Facebook and so forth, but it would all be for one purpose, which is the web store is actually the digital version of the lobby where you know we all walk into over Irwin Animal Clinic. So here is what I put together as an example. I did this a while back. So you know the goal, and I'm just using a, a Genesis theme. Uh, it's like 130 bucks, right? So over at StudioPress.com, pick it up for 130 bucks and install it on some whatever hosting you want to use. I'm using Liquid Web Managed WooCommerce. I start with the beginner plan of 39 bucks and as far as with the media, I'd start with video. And what I would want to do is, so with the customer conversation, I'd start with live chat. And then, which would start obviously in the bottom right there, you can see the live chat. And then afterwards, once they gave us the email address, we would combine the two. And then we would be combining that obviously with the times that they visit the actual, you know, animal clinic, right? So we're and we're trying to put all of this information or track this conversation that we're having with customers i would have it happen within drift so yes email is going to happen yes live chat yes you know face to face yes on facebook but what we would do is we just use automation to bring all that information onto a timeline for each of these people and that just allows us to manage that customer conversation over time and understand contextually where are they at within the life cycle of the, their relationship with the business so with urban animal clinic maybe it's time for you know one of their animals to have their you know yearly um rabies shot or maybe it's time for them to resupply their heartworm and flea medication we're putting all this information together so that we understand when to talk to them and how to talk to them when we do and obviously that plays out over time though right so the marketing strategy i always go with customer intimacy it just fits so naturally with the state of the world now that we have the internet really baked into the day-to-day -day lives so I start with awareness and then look to define audiences from there. So I want to be as specific as possible. If they ended up, and it depends on what the owner actually wants to accomplish, right? Maybe they want to, you know, take over the world and open up our own animal clinics all over the place, right? Maybe it's nothing like that, but I'd start with that. And then I would speak to each audience with their own message. So, you know, like we talked about with the cats and dogs, showing them the images of cats and talking about their cat or showing them images of dogs and, you know, talking about their dog. So budget estimate for this would be 89 a month. I would say 500 a month for hypothetical first ad budget. You can go more, you can go a little less, you know, the more, as you spend more money on ads, you understand your audience better. And it just, you typically are going to be able to improve as you move forward, just based off of the repetitions, but you have to start doing it in order to benefit. All right. So here's the Facebook page. Oh yeah. And see, I, on July 13th, I gave them a, a review. So they've been recommended by 19 people. I'll run you real quick through the Facebook automated ads. The first one, which would be, I would go with on-site sales just to begin with and say they buy at the location, which they do. Right. And then, you can see here, five bucks a day, you'd be reaching 1149 to 2220, 2220 people per day. So 150 bucks a month, you're well on your way to starting to let people, you know, getting in front of people, letting them know, hey, we're around and we have stuff going on and we do different things and we have, you know, different ways that we can make your life easier. Here's an ad I threw together just to kind of show, and I didn't do much. I just used the headline from the website that I put together as an example, and I'll link to it below the video when you see it, if you want to go and poke around in it. If they went with the five a day, like I said, 2280 or so. And the other thing I would do is this, and this goes back to what we were talking about earlier, where we're putting all, aggregating all that data in, within Drift and we're putting it on a timeline as the goal. And part of the way we do that is with Zapier.com, Z-A-P-I-E-R.com. And here, what we've set up is Facebook pages talking to Drift and saying, hey, we got a new recommendation. Remember I read 19 people had recommended, then what we would do is log the event for that contact. So Jason Hobbs did it, The pro my profile within the Drift account for Irwin Animal Clinic would then you know, kind of 
hang that on the timeline, so to speak, and say, hey, he here's what he said, here's when he said it, etc. And then we would do that for a bunch, all the different ways that they would interact. We would, you know, have it all piped in there so that we had all of it on the same timeline. And then you can run ads off of that. And there's so many different things you can do from there. The next one, I think I'm gonna do my local animal shelter 